back here. Did you get any of your order from yesterday? Thank you. Thank you. Except Paul Bunyan, like we did yesterday, Paul Bunyan was a liberty brother. The intro is the only place I can I take the tube off my face, so it keeps me in it. Thank you. 
two hands in the middle here. In the middle there, it's right after you. Oh, are you ready? Yeah. I think we do it both hands in the middle. I've done it here. Dave and Charles are four hands. Dave and Charles are four hands. Great. Which one is that? On the board?
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Thank you. 
Everybody, please be seated. <laughs> Welcome to Dalhousie's Spring Convocation uh, and the celebration of graduates from the Faculty of Computer Science. My name is Frank Harvey. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to be serving as Dalhousie's Provost and Vice President Academic, and I will be serving as your MC today. And we are absolutely thrilled that we're having these celebrations in person. I would like to ask Elder Catherine Martin, our Director of Indigenous Community Engagement, to deliver the traditional Mi'kmaq welcome. Que medawalok diok and wele giskuk. Hello, que is when you know you're just so happy to see everybody here, especially all of your graduates here. And I'd like to welcome you on this beautiful day to the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. And in keeping with our tradition for over almost 14,000 years. We share our land and thank our ancestors, especially the ones in 1752 and 63, who thought, as always, about the seven generations ahead to ensure that we were always able to live our way as Migama as we had for thousands of years, and we will continue. Walaliok for coming and congratulations to all of the parents and the caregivers and the siblings who had to put up with everybody over there. Yeah. Before um, we begin, I'm, I'd like to ask for just a moment of silence for the tragic loss of such incredibly promising children 
from yesterday's horrific attack on the elementary school. Walaliok and Sitnogama. Thank you very much, Kathy, for that beautiful welcome. Uh, I would like as well to begin by acknowledging that Dalhousie University and our community benefit from and sit on Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. We are very grateful for our partnerships and our friendships across Dalhousie's campuses, our faculties, and our administrative units. Grateful for our community leaders, our elders and residents, our Indigenous Advisory Council, our Director of Indigenous Community Engagement, our Indigenous Student Center, Indigenous Health Program, Inclusive Pathways to the Medical Professions, and many, many other important initiatives and partnerships across uh, our campuses. We, of course, will continue to work on and build on these critically important relationships and friendships because we are all treaty people and we take these words and our commitment to truth and reconciliation very seriously. We would also like to acknowledge the histories, the contributions, and the legacies of Afri our African Nova Scotian people and communities who have been here for over 400 years. <clears throat> there are two times on a university campus that are particularly significant. The first is at the start of every year when we welcome our new students to campus, and the second is at the end uh, when we come together as we are today to celebrate the completion of your programs. For many, this day comes with a range of different emotions, sadness at leaving Dalhousie and your Dal community and your friends, perhaps eagerness to move on from Dalhousie and Halifax, Possibly a little fear and anxiety for those who aren't quite sure what the next steps hold. And certainly gratitude for all those uh, who supported you along the way. But among all the different emotions you and your classmates are working through right now, I hope you feel pride. You have done what many can only dream of, and you should be proud of the accomplishment. Completing your degree, particularly in these unique circumstances, close to a three-year pandemic, certainly gives us all many reasons to be incredibly proud of you and your accomplishments. Convocation marks the culmination of years of very, very hard work. You've spent hundreds of hours in lectures, uh, labs, tutorials, and the library. You've solved thousands of problems, debugged endless lines of code, and mastered many new languages and systems. You've designed and created hundreds of user interfaces, um, and uh, working software systems. You've demoed dozens of personal and team projects. You've mastered concepts from fields as diverse as human-computer interaction and artificial intelligence. You've taken and studied countless pages of notes from thousands of pages of textbooks, research papers, and the internet. And you demonstrated your knowledge and abilities in a seemingly endless stream of quizzes and midterms and finals Many of you have completed several co-op terms and you have made some great friends. But you've also spent a good part of the last several years building time management skills, balancing school, work, and social lives, dealing with relationships, social pressures, pressures from parents and family, dealing with fears and anxieties about your program and your future, taking chances and risks, managing your budget, dealing with personal and emotional crisis, in many cases while juggling one, possibly two or more jobs to cover tuition. Your graduation speaks volumes about your capacity and your willingness to succeed anywhere by applying the life lessons, the skills, the knowledge, the passions, and the life choices you've been collecting over the last several years. Whatever the emotion, convocation marks the end of years of very hard work. That is why we're here celebrating today that is why your family and friends and the entire Dalhousie community are so incredibly proud of you. So feel free to make some noise.
Family and friends, we would typically encourage you to move around the uh, auditorium, take as many pictures as you'd like, but for health and safety reasons, we ask that you stay in place, take as many pictures as you'd like, uh, and we will let our photographer from Life Choice take additional close-up pictures that we will be sharing. And please do share your best celebration pictures with us online using hashtag DowGrad. And as always, Convocation is being webcast, so you can have the pleasure of watching and sharing uh, the celebration through our Dow website. Now, I'd like to take a moment to uh, introduce those individuals who will be participating in the ceremony today. So uh, when I call your name, if you can please rise if you are able and remain standing. Um, Elder Catherine Martin, a Director of Indigenous Community Engagement, who gave the beautiful traditional Mi'kmaq welcome a few moments ago. Uh, Scott Bryson, our Chancellor. Dr. Deep Saini, President and Vice Chancellor. Dr. Louise Pateri, Interim Chair of Senate. Dr. Andrew Rao Chaplin, Dean of the Faculty of Computer Science. Donna Bourne Tyson, uh, Dean of Libraries. Um, Marty Leonard, Dean of the Faculty of Graduate Studies. Uh, Angela Siegel, our Associate VP Academic, who carried the new Dawn staff in, uh, bringing our students to their seats. Also on the platform party today and in the audience are others who have contributed to your success. These include your Associate Deans, numerous faculty members, staff, and administrators who are critical to the success of our students and the excellence of our academic program. So I ask you all to stand uh, if you are able uh, for us to acknowledge and thank you. Thank you very much. I would like now to invite Dr. Deep Saini to deliver the President's remarks. Thank you, Dr. Harvey. Graduates, families, and friends, and dis distinguished guests, a very warm welcome to all of you today. What an incredible moment, what an honor, what an immense pleasure to finally have the opportunity to join you all in person for this convocation. After two very difficult years, years that kept us physically apart, it is a very welcome return to this important rite of passage. Today's ceremony blends long, uh, long traditions, long standing traditions with uh, very appropriate adjustments for the times that we are living through right now. And the ceremony is also a nod to the place where Dalhousie is located, this beautiful part of Mi'kma'ki that we call Nova Scotia. This ceremony is a celebration of your transition from students to graduates and alumni. But even more importantly, and dare I say much more importantly, it is a celebration of your achievements. This milestone is a very well-earned personal recognition of your efforts and abilities and a source of great pride, not only for you, but also for your supporters. Class of 2022, you more than anybody know it only too well that it would be an understatement to say that the, that the last couple of years did not quite play out exactly the way any of us would have imagined. But regardless of the incessant challenges that the circumstances threw at you, and that happened since the beginning of 2020, here you are. Here you are, all of you, and despite what you were given, look what you have made of it. You met your goal, and you're here, receiving your testament to your perseverance, resilience, grit, and determination. So that calls for all of us to put our hands together 
and recognize this incredible achievement that you have made. I know that it wasn't the student experience that you had imagined, but you overcame great obstacles to make it to this particular and wonderful day. You traveled, some of you very, very far, along the way navigating evolving restrictions here in Canada and abroad. You adapted and collaborated. You made the most of one online learning, gaining new skills and insights, and in the process, helping create and then refine a whole new paradigm for how the university education will be delivered and received. Most of the lessons that we have learned to, through uh, these shared experiences of ours will, in fact, endure. Offering new and better learning tools for those generations that are still to come. And someday, you will look back and proudly recall that this is where it all began and you were at the center of it all. You have not only, you have not had it easy, but I dare to imagine that someday you will look back and realize, if you don't already do this, that this experience has made you stronger, perhaps it has made you more resilient, more creative, more innovative, more empathetic, more civic-minded, more conscious of how the actions of one impact others, and more committed to striving for a better tomorrow. And this is all very important because these are exactly the traits that our world needs today. Over these two years, the phrase, the new normal, has become increasingly a familiar part of our lexicon. However, for the society to enter a new normal is actually uh, not something unique uh, that belongs only in the present times. After all, the human history is replete with major turning points of similar magnitude. So, what is, the, what is unique about this experience? In my view, the uniqueness of this particular new normal resides in the confluence of the daunting and often wicked challenges that it coincides with. What are these challenges? Let me list just some of the obvious examples. Climate change and its looming impacts. The recognition on an unprecedented scale and around the globe that historical wrongs must be righted. The challenges to democracy, peace, and global order. Global conflicts and domestic gun violence as Kathy Martin spoke about it. We are just in the process of uh, coming to grips with the tragedy that has just un unfolded in, in our neighboring country. And these tragedies we continue to see in our societies almost on a daily basis. And there is more. There is the, the challenge to global public health. There is the challenge of hunger. This globe is soon going to have a population of nine billion people, and we have to together figure out how do we feed this population without destroying the planet and the environment. So the task in front of you will not, only, will not be easy. It will indeed demand a great deal of you. But your generation has demonstrated again and again that you have what it takes to overcome extreme circumstances. When I see you, when I see what you have overcome over the past two years, and especially how you have overcome it and what you have accomplished and what you have become as a result of all of this, I feel totally confident that the world is in very, very competent hands. Today is a big day as you cross the stage today and become a member of the worldwide community of graduates, you also join the Dalhousie alumni family, a family that is distinguished. It is a group that has already, in fact, had an indelible impression on societies around the world. I have no doubt that you will uphold this tradition, and in the years to come, you will see, too, that 
that you will be achieving great things, both for yourselves and the world. While you do so, I hope that you will, find, you will remember with fondness your time here at Dalhousie University and, their root, and your roots in your alma mater. You, our graduates, are the greatest source of pride for us all. So on behalf of Dalhousie University, let me say heartiest congratulations and very best wishes for the brilliant future that I am certain that you richly deserve. Thank you, congratulations, and please stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you, President Saini. Will graduates please rise? Mr. Chancellor, as Chair of the Senate of Dalhousie University, I ask you to confer degrees on those candidates whose names have been approved by Senate. <clears throat> by virtue of the authority vested in me and in Dalhousie University, I admit to their respective degrees and diplomas with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto those candidates who have fulfilled the requirements of that degree and whose names have been approved by the Senate. Admito vos ad gratum. Graduates, please be seated. I now call upon Dr. Andrew Rao Chaplin, Dean of Computer Science, Dr. Marty Leonard, Dean of Graduate Studies, and Olivia Blais, uh, an orator with the Fountain School of Performing Arts to present the candidates who are here today receiving degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Applied Computer Science. Mustafa Ali. Jad Bu Said. <laughs> Donovan Terry Bussey, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Jasper Cools, Cooperative Program. Sabrina Mary Da Silva, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Nicholas Scott Deschen, Cooperative Program. Renare Shilya Forbes, Cooperative Program. <laughs> Deep Gian Chandani. <laughs> William Alexander Gray. Yeah. 
Megan Annie Greenell, Sexton Distinction. Dan Hallam, Cooperative Program. Spencer Alexander Hines, Cooperative Program. Bo Wen Jang. Tolu Walope Kausarata Karim, Cooperative Program. Joy Elizabeth Loxdale. <laughs> Stephen Lutar. <laughs> Adam Nelson Matatal. James Roderick McNutt. <laughs> Benjamin Ritayisir. Thank you. Bryson Sullivan Farrell. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor. The following candidates have fulfilled the requirement for the degree of Bachelor of Computer Science. Noah Armsworthy. Patrick James Burke, Cooperative Program. Sofia Castro Burgos, Sexton Distinction. Steve Chen, Cooperative Program with Distinction. Ji Yin Chen. William Chu. <laughs> Harry Kiran Chuka. <laughs> Jacob Michael Cohen, Corporative Program. Yuan Dai, Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Justin Joseph Rock Dano, Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Paul Edward Decker, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Harris Wilson Dexter. <laughs> Isaac Dunnett, Sexton Distinction. Bradley Garrigan. <laughs> Lauren Claire Greeno. <laughs> Jinkun Gui.
Jonglin Guo, Cooperative Program Distinction. <laughs> Borong Chen. <laughs> Zhao He He, Cooperative Program Sexton Distinction. Brittany Deborah Lee Hokey, Cooperative Program. <laughs> MD Asef Jawad. <laughs> Bari Gia, with honors, first class honors. Wen Liang Jia, Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Ming Ming Jiang. <laughs> Zhenting Jiang. Spencer Alicia Kehoe. <laughs> Apologies to the graduate. <laughs> Julia Kim. <laughs> Travis Aubrey John Lamb, Cooperative Program. Julia Tatiana Lewandowski, with honors, first class honors. Langdi Lee. Chowing Lu, cooperative program, Sexton Distinction. Benjamin James McDonald, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Brady Eugene McDonald, Cooperative Program. Fawn Allison McNeil. Benjamin Madil. <laughs> Lauren Remy Marchand. <laughs> Tobia Katarina Marslin, Sexton Distinction. Paxton Stephen Madison, Cooperative Program Distinction. <laughs> Benjamin Dean Murray. <laughs> Adeloy Olukoid Organoiki. Cooperative program with distinction. Onya Dika Oragui, cooperative program. Junqiao Chu with honors, first class honors. Mm -hmm. 
Imad Amin Rajan, Cooperative Program. Dongyan Ren. <laughs> Emilio Rock, Cooperative Program. <laughs> Aishik Sanyal, with honors. Graham Schmuland. Cameron Patrick Scott. Keelan Mary Alexandra Sakarka Bybus, Sexton Distinction. Busey Selchuk. <laughs> Junji Shao. <laughs> Tyler Luke Stokeskog. Grant Wayne Sutherland. <laughs> Sanjana Swami, Cooperative Program with Distinction. Vishnu Swaminathan, Cooperative Program. <laughs> Mingyang Tang. <laughs> Chen Wen Wang. Jinwen Wang, Cooperative Program. <laughs> Runcheng Wang. <laughs> Shu Yi Wang. Yida Wong, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Yifan Wong, with Honors Cooperative Program, First Class Honors. <laughs> Heijing Wu, Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. Han Yang. <laughs> Ji Yi, Cooperative Program, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> ben Jang, Sexton Distinction. Hang Fu Zhang, Cooperative Program with Distinction. <laughs> Wu Chan Zhang with Honors. <laughs> Xi Qin Zhou. Jeming Zhu. Sorry. Cho. 
Joe, apologies to the graduates. Jiaqin Zhou. Jin Chao Jo Ju. Sorry. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Jishi Luo, major in computer science. <laughs> Josephine Egbegmemi Mishan, major in computer science. William Bernard Robbins, major in computer science, Sexton Distinction. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of candidates who are here today to receive the bachelor's degree. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Applied Computer Science. One second. Mm -hmm. Sriram Atanti. <laughs> Divyashri Bangalore Subaraya. Nirmal Pachpatpai Bihmani. <laughs> Somya Busanagari. <laughs> Rashmi Chandi. Tejaswi Shadari. <laughs> Rotesh Chabra. <laughs> Theresa Mary De Silva. Suvik Das. <laughs> Bala Sandeep Krishna Dasari. <laughs> Padmesh Dontu. Kirtan Revin Bai Dudatartra. <laughs> Hashik Dontianeni. <laughs> Kartik Mansukba Gevaria. Mansi Kartik Gevaria. <laughs> 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 
Nikunjwenga. Dara Ben Tarkobal Gohil. Guru Shashank. Janvi Hehar. Amelia Itzel Hernandez Beltran. Mohamed Amza Jasnak. <laughs> Prithi Jeva. <laughs> Dinesh Katameni. Narendran Krishna Kumar. <laughs> Karishma Suresh Lalwani. <laughs> Philemon Lee. Falgun Manishbai Makadia. <laughs> Bansi Jitan Meta. <laughs> Ketan Kumar Nasapu. Srise Bargav Nutaki. <laughs> Vishal Deepak Pramar. <laughs> Nihar Parupali. Deep Prashant Kumar Patel. <laughs> Dhruv Patel. <laughs> Heli Changambai Patel. Janvi Ganshambai Patel. Akash Madan. Kushan Patel. Neil Patel. <laughs> Pathy Kumar Patel. <laughs> Misba Mohammed Kassam Pathan. Harry Ben Alex Pavaluri. <laughs> Sravani Peninti.
Tasneem Yusuf Pombanderwala. Apologies to the graduate. Johanan Abhishek Paburai. Rajni Puni. Jen Kishore Ramasam. Samar Sagu. Prashant Sanjay Sarvi. Dhruvan Kumar Avindeb Saliva. Apologies to the graduate. Shri Krishnan Sangotai Kasi. Bikram Jeet Singh. <laughs> Fenil Nikushkumar Shah. <laughs> Sanket Vikembai Shah. Tanuj Subti. Can you spell? Okay. Ananti Tiangarajan Subashni. Bacht Tumar. Pritham Reddy Tikavarapu. Rishma Anikrishnan. Anuj Opadia. Vamsi Krishna Utla. Prashant Vadlamani. Aparna Vive Canadan. Devianj Veas. Zongyu U. Yash Jashwal. <laughs> Jamis Zadafia. Juhil Kumar Prakashbai Zalavya.
Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Digital Innovation. Did I get that wrong? Uh, is it Master of Computer Science? Excellent. Mr. <laughs> Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Computer Science. Mihyar Al Masalama. Then Fay. Mirafon Rebi. Mohammad Ariful Islam. Yuldus Kojava. Mukutmar Rajendran. As it is? Perfect. Sebastian Arturo Rodriguez Ordonez. Heshan Siddiqui. Mohammed John Tashpalatov. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Digital Innovation. <laughs> Temi Adewumi. <laughs> Rashida Besola Ajayi. Amir Alavi. Fahad Al Shatil Asharafi. Sumethi Bandari. Raji Diloj. Adeline Shimwe. Harshini Muratoti. Sushila Kirti Popuri. Jingyao Chi. <laughs> Mohamed Raje. <laughs> Anirudhya Ravikumar. <laughs> Sonia Said. Aaron Singla. <laughs> Yu Cheng Yang. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have fulfilled the requirements for the Master of Health Informatics. Sorry. 
Michael Barrett. Khaled Hassan. Anders Linkschild. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, this concludes the presentation of those candidates who are here today to receive the master's degree. One more round of applause for the graduates, thank you. I would now like to call attention to the families and friends of our graduates. We obviously know that convocation is an important occasion for you as well, and I'm sure that uh, all of us here recognize the importance of your love and your support along the way. So we would like to express our gratitude, uh, gratitude uh, to you for the role you've played. Uh, so I ask all graduates to stand up one uh, more time and as well the onstage party, if you could stand. Graduates, your family and friends have been applauding you throughout our convocation ceremony today. So now it's your turn to make some noise in honor of their support for your uh, success. Thank you very much. Please, please be seated. Conferring an honorary doctoral degree is the highest honor a university bestows. I now call upon Dr. Louis Sperry, Chair of the Senate, to present the candidate for the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Dr. Spatz, will you please rise? Jim Spatz's path in life has taken several turns, but family has been a constant. Born in Munich, Germany, to Polish Jews and Holocaust survivors, Simon and Riva Spatz, Jim immigrated to Canada through Pier 21 with his family as an infant. Simon Spatz would go on to start Southwest Properties, but the younger Spatz didn't have plans to join the family business at least not at first. Instead, he started his career right here at Dalhousie Medical School, then practiced family and emergency medicine for 15 years, first as a general practitioner in Dartmouth, followed by a residency in emergency medicine in Montreal. Dr. Spatz went on to several roles in the Department of Emergency Medicine at Jewish General Hospital including acting chief of staff and assistant professor of family medicine at McGill University. Today, Dr. Spatz is an award-winning CEO and philanthropic trailblazer. He returned to the family business, Southwest Properties Limited, serving as executive chairman for more than three decades. A regional economic driver, Southwest owns operates and develops residential and commercial real estate in the Atlantic region and extended stay accommodations across Canada. Southwest's extensive and growing portfolio has earned national renown 
Southwest's Maple Residential Complex received the 2018 Rental Development of the Year Award from the Canadian Federation of Apartment Associations. And the company also received the Green Building Pioneer Award from the Canadian Green Building Council Atlantic Chapter. In addition to his considerable business success, Dr. Spatz founded the Spatz Foundation in 2008 and has made substantial charitable and volunteer contributions to arts and culture, health, entrepreneurship, and Jewish life regionally and nationally. Countless organizations have benefited from this generosity, including the Canadian Museum for Human Rights, Art Gallery of Nova Scotia, Neptune Theatre, the Spatz Theatre, the IWK Health Centre, Canadian Mental Health Association, Halifax Central Library, and the Discovery Centre, to name just a few. Jim Spatz has also been a true friend to Dalhousie, serving on the Board of Governors from 2001 to 2015, and as its chair from 2018 to 2014. He sits on the Dalhousie Advisory Council and is a founding partner and fellow of the Dalhousie-based Creative Destruction Lab Atlantic, the mentorship and investment organization for technology startup ventures in the region. Dr. Spatz also worked to establish the endowed Simon and River Spatz visiting chair in Jewish studies at Dalhousie in honor of his parents. Dr. Spatz has been a familiar face on the boards of many other community organizations. Currently, he chairs the Capital Campaign Council for the new Art Gallery of Nova Scotia, is a life director of Neptune Theatre, and a member of the Canadian Jewish Political Affairs Committee's advisory board. He is a recipient of the Queen Elizabeth II Diamond Jubilee Medal and has been named Atlantic Business Magazine's CEO of the Year for Atlantic Canada and Waterstone Human Capital's Most Admired Canadian CEO in the mid-market space. Jim and his late father, Simon, were inducted into the Nova Scotia Business Hall of Fame in 2007. In recognition of his determination, outstanding business accomplishments, and impact on Atlantic Canada's economy and charitable sector, as well as on Dalhousie, I ask you, Mr. Chancellor, in the name of the Senate, to bestow upon Dr. Jim Spatz the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Dr. Jim Spatz, by virtue of the authority vested in me and in Dalhousie University, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Congratulations, Dr. Spatz. Thank you, Before I ask our um, double doctor, Jim Spatz, now to deliver the convocation address, I am compelled to share a, for, what, a, for a few seconds a very poetic story about what's happening today, the convocation for computer sciences and Dr. Spatz's relationship to some of the things that are happening. So I, I started my job here in January uh, 2020 and I was still not here. I was actually in Australia when I 
got an email from our um, Vice President Adva Advancement that there are two gentlemen by the name of Jim Spads and John Risley who want to see you as soon as you arrive in Canada. And so I landed here on the 15th and on the 16th of January we had a dinner when I was still pretty badly jet lagged where a conversation ensued where there were some very inspiring words said about how the computer sciences at Dalhousie needs to grow and what could be done. And for a newbie president, um, a lot of tips were given as to how to go about it. 18 months later, uh, well, we went to action right away and 18 months later, we had the commitment of Nova Scotia government plus our own commitment approved by the board to match that commitment from the government to nearly double the size of our Faculty of Computer Sciences. So if you are going to see the growth, and actually you're seeing all, already the growth in Computer Sciences at Dalhousie, which would make Dalhousie as one of the leading universities in Computer Sciences in the country, here's a gentleman who, ha who is behind that inspiration. Thank you very much. <laughs> So with that, Dr. Spatz, I ask you now to deliver the convocation address, please. Thank you, um, Louise, and thank you, Deep, for the very, very kind words. And thank you, Scott, my good friend, Scott Bryson. It's a, it's a treat that, uh, that you're the chancellor that actually uh, conferred that degree on me. I'm not sure whether to break into that song, Doctor, Doctor, Give Me the News, <laughs> or go buy a second stethoscope. I'm not sure what, what I'm supposed to do now. Good morning, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, distinguished representatives of the Senate, the Board of Governors, and sister universities, members of faculty, graduates, families and friends, my own family who are here today, Val, Avram, Maddie, Nolan and Georgia, and uh, my friends who've come to join me for this special day, and uh, my Southwest Property colleagues who are here today and who I uh, uh, count on so much to run such a good company. Welcome and thank you for being here today. What a wonderful and optimistic day for all of us, especially all of you who are graduating today. I'm very excited for you and for your futures as you head out into the world with the great education you have just received, achieved and been recognized for. As you would have heard from Louise, I am an immigrant. I arrived on a ship at Pier 21 here in Halifax at the age of 11 months with my parents, European Jews who had survived the Holocaust, met in Munich and had a son, me, and soon after left for Canada. Like so many immigrants, they came at significant sacrifice looking for a better life, mostly for their children. After a year or two, they had their own grocery store on Morris Street, not far from here, which my father expanded and improved. And not too long after that, he began to buy small properties in the area and turned that humble beginning into a significant enterprise. But parallel to the story of immigrants making a better lives, for themselves was a sense of gratitude, almost never verbalized, but still pervasive in our house, of our good fortune, our great fortune, to have ended up in Canada. Perhaps the best country, but still not perfect. We have made great progress regarding how we view each other but there still is much work to do and many wounds to heal. I am optimistic that we will get there. 
I went to public school, Morris Street School, and then to Dalhousie, first for science and then for medicine, and then embarked upon my first career as a physician. I practiced medicine for a little over 14 years, first as a general practitioner, then as a specialist in emergency medicine, and I loved it. I especially loved the intensity and unpredictability of running an emergency room. I think it might bear similarities with the speed of change that you see in your chosen careers. There is the great satisfaction in medicine of helping people in a way that is unlike any other. But I had another itch to scratch that had been with me as a young boy when my father would take me to construction sites on weekends and eventually I needed to turn to that. What I say is that I was addicted to the smell of freshly poured concrete at a young age. I especially love the creativity that came with building things and seeing them come alive. And so I went from being a highly educated professional in a field that I love to the somewhat more dubious position of being the owner's son. It was a bit of a difficult transition, but after a couple of years, I had my legs under me and started to be able to add value to the new endeavors we took on. My new career was challenging but exhilarating with mistakes and the great learning that especially comes from mistakes with risk and reward and the stress that comes from things that you can't control. As much as an emergency room might seem chaotic, it is, it is actually more controllable and predictable than the world itself. Look at the world over the last two and a half years and how well we were able to either predict or control it. At Southwest, we have always strived for excellence in our buildings. We have always viewed ourselves as city builders looking to improve the communities we live in. We are innovative, always looking to learn and bring better solutions, better places to live or work to our tenants and better experiences to our customers. We do a lot of innovative things. One of the things we're most proud of is that we were the first apartment developers east of Quebec to build certifiably sustainable uh, buildings that have remarkably lower carbon footprints. Several years ago, we started to invest in a se sector directly connected to computer science at Dalhousie. I had served on Dalhousie's Board of Governors for many years and chaired that board from 2008 to 2014. And I loved my time doing that. Um, I used to dis uh, describe myself as a, as a recovering volunteer. Uh, I think I slip back every once in a while. But of all the things that I've done in the community, of all my volunteer roles, um, what I've done with and at Dalhousie has been my favorite. After I retired from the board, I remained involved with Dal in a number of ways. One of those was helping Creative Destruction Lab come to Dell. For those of you who don't know, CDL is the technology startup mentoring and investment ecosystem that was born at the University of Toronto several years ago. It was so successful that expanded to four other Canadian universities, including Dell five years ago and now you'll find CDL centers in important universities around the world. It is a remarkable incubator that helps take the ideas and ambition of mostly young people like you, you who are graduating today, and turn, helps turn them into important technologies and companies that can change the world. We were founding partners of CDL when it came to Dow and Atlanta, Canada. And for me, it was more than a financial contribution. It was a way to hopefully accelerate the transformation of the local 
and regional economy into a smart economy, which was a natural transformation for a province and a region that might have been thought of as poor but was university rich. On a personal level, it was a huge opportunity for learning. Dell is a great university that has punched above its weight in the quality and quantity of research done here for much of its history. So Dell was the natural home for CDL Atlantic. And the combination of that research and the new, new knowledge that was created and a venue like CDL that moved people and their ideas forward has been a significant part of the explosion in the tech sector we are seeing in Halifax today. We are now one of the fastest growing technology centers in Canada. That is one of the most significant factors behind the opportunities you will find or have already started to find as you venture beyond Dalhousie's doors. And it ties directly to the reversal for the first time in decades of a province whose population was slowly shrinking and slowly aging to one that is growing at a rate that is among the highest in Canada today and at the same time, and as importantly, becoming younger. It was always hard to stay here, even if you loved it, if you couldn't find a job, but that is not the case anymore. Even in the midst of the challenging world we find ourselves in, this bodes really well for Halifax and for Nova Scotia and for you who are graduating today. The remarkable growth of computer science at Dalhousie has caught lots of attention at the highest levels, regionally and nationally and internationally. Ten years ago, the enrollment in computer science here was less than 600 students. Today, it's almost 2,200 students. That number is projected to increase to 2,500 students in the next five years. As Deep said, um, there is huge commitment to that growth. Scale CS, scale computer science, is a government-backed initiative to support that enrollment growth by adding 50 new faculty members in computer science and in key interdisciplinary areas, more than doubling the faculty size. There will be a new and much larger computer science uh, building on the engineer and architecture campus, the Sexton campus, and my prediction is that within five years, it will be under construction. The best jobs will come find us here because of the quality of the graduates of our universities. If you who are graduating today stay here, you will likely have exciting, rewarding, and very fulfilling careers. All of this would not be possible without the excellence that resides in the higher education sector, in this university, in this faculty, in its faculty members and students, including you who are graduating today. You are a beacon of excellence. What you have learned during your time studying computer science here at Dalhousie is not just an important part of you helping to move the world forward, you are actually in the vanguard of moving the world forward. Not simply creating valuable companies and wealth, what you've learned enables progress in many areas of computer technology directly, but it is much wider than that. Your contributions will help enable new technology across many or most of the disciplines that reside in a university. Medicine and healthcare will benefit from technologies that better diagnose and treat diseases. Material science will create technologies that produce green energy and lower carbon footprints. Engineering will, pr will produce better and lighter buildings, better and more efficient cars, all with your help. I could go on, but I would simply describe it as an explosion of innovation that will make the world a better place. All of this will involve 
you who are graduating here today. I'm excited and optimistic for you. I leave you with one charge. As you venture into the world and build your lives and careers, always be mindful of your responsibility to make the world a better place. If you don't do it, who will? Congratulations and enjoy and celebrate this wonderful day. Thank you. Dr. Spatz, thank you very much for that inspiring convocation address, inspiring not only for our current grad students, uh, graduates, but uh, graduates that will be entering our programs for years to come. Thank you for your support, um, and thank you for being here today, and congratulations once again. Graduates, let me be the first to acknowledge that as you leave uh, the auditorium today, you, uh, you will officially become part of Dalhousie's alumni network of more than 152,000 people around the world. This is a wonderful asset, and I hope that you will take advantage of the connection to the broader Dal community. And we invite you to get involved, and we invite you to stay involved and stay connected. In recognition of your new status, members of the Alumni Association will present you with a Dalhousie alumni pin as you exit uh, the ceremony today, and we hope that you will wear it uh, with pride. Congratulations again. Welcome to the Dalhousie family, uh, the Dalhousie alumni family, graduates and guests. This um, concludes the business of convocation today. After the singing of O Canada, you are requested to remain standing if you are able as the academic uh, procession leaves the auditorium. I now invite you to join Chloe Dion, a Dalhousie voice student from the Fountain School of Performing Arts, in singing our national anthem. Thank you very much. Well, 
Oh, 